Good evening, everybody. I'm your host, Simply C, and I am on the air with Cat Fox. She's in the studio with me tonight, and she's going to do a little rap tune for us to kick off this evening. That's right, I am. I hope it's all right if I get a little jazzy, because I'm going to... All the live people so infected with their own kind Tuned into a single view perspective, it gets no time Tiny drama paints upon the world a single man's mind Really, it's a side dick, I can move me like a landmine While the rest of the world is living in pain Dying daily and cannot afford to complain Why would my philosophy scrape the bottom of the sea? Really puddle that a muddle stumble through Hard to breathe, but honestly tell me You gotta be kidding, there is no flawlessly living It is a bridge that you're building When you take it, not giving It goes from bringing to getting If you stifle the wisdom, you lose sight of the singing Top of blur, make a mountain out of molehill Only hurt for a moment if you hold still Top of blur, make a mountain out of molehill only hurt for a moment if you hold Day I met my place when I was feeling ostentatious The complacent way we waste a day can pass my concentration Yesterday is gone and tomorrow never shows So get on with your story, no there is nowhere to go It's a natural fact, you're gonna get yourself trapped Inside those panic attacks, planet attracts And not some drags, learn to react Talk enough to know a logical posture has been blocked Blurred like hands on a clock, turn it back and see what stops first got worse and maybe much harder to find population all the patience for the stars when they align allow me to remind you're only limited by time map a mindful mission and me figure till you decline tap a blur and make a mountain out of molehill only hurt for a moment if you hold still tap a blur and make a mountain out of molehill only hurt for a moment if you hold still that was a wonderful performance by cat fox she's in the studio with me tonight good evening my dear Hello. How's it going? <laughs> good, good. And now you are a female rap artist. And now there's not many rappers in town here, and there's not many female rappers in town. How did you get started? Um, yeah, you're right. There aren't, uh, there's, you know, there's quite a few hip hoppers hip hopping around. Okay. Not a lot of women are doing it. Um, mm-hmm. There's a few. Um, oh, Susie Q comes to mind. Susie Q, uh, royalty as well. Uh, mm-hmm. There's quite a few spoken word artists in town too death hook that's another one um but yeah i mean i just kind of got started i uh actually i about a year ago joined an outcast cover band and uh naturally i was big boy um <laughs> but i that's uh, i suppose a little bit unnatural but i i felt like going for it so i did mm-hmm. i was big boy and it was um I've, I've been a musician for a very long time uh decades since I was very small and uh, that was the most fun I had ever had on stage the most uh, I guess complete I felt after a show a performance so I decided to keep doing it mm-hmm. to yeah. go the rap route rap kind of hip-hop go route. the rap route mm-hmm. just a wrap around <laughs> just a rap route yeah all right and now what kind of instruments you said that you were a musician from way back was it instrumentation is it vocals oh yeah i um i actually i started playing the piano when i was four years old i'm 24 now um so mm-hmm. i took up lessons when i was uh four years old uh little bitty cat fox did that and then um moved to percussion um as i got older about you know fifth grade band school band age i took up percussion and I was one of those drummers in the back of the room hitting stuff with sticks and then I picked up a guitar and then I picked up a bass and I actually um for a time I was a student here at um UWS I was a percussion major but um you know I just I just hate organized music okay you know mm-hmm. I, I like expression <laughs> more than I like mm-hmm. uh you know big orchestrated playing someone else's sorts of things Mm -hmm. so you're very much so uh out on your own yeah yeah i prefer to you know play music that i actually enjoy Mm -hmm. playing to all right and we were discussing before and you just kind of the world kind of opened up when you entered the rap hip-hop scene up here how has that kind of been for you uh, even being a female artist in the hip-hop scene um it's been a lot of fun it's been a ton of fun yeah, for a while there, before I really felt super confident in my voice, it was uh, a lot harder to be heard because I was, I guess, I was quieter. Um, but then I, I started getting louder, and I started, you know, 
shouting and standing on things and making myself heard. Um, and that's, that's, I think, not necessarily a struggle, but it's just another obstacle that women, I suppose, probably in any genre of music, mm -hmm. have to sort of um, put themselves out there, put themselves on, um, make themselves heard. Okay. Uh, have you caught any kind of uh, resistance being a female rap artist? You know, I've gotten all sorts of all sorts of resistance, mostly from very small men who don't, you know, seem to think that there's room in the world for, you know, a, mm -hmm. a woman's voice. I guess. Um, okay. But yeah, I've gotten all sorts of ugliness. Uh, you know, people only like you because of your lipstick, or you know, they only pay attention because you're cute. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see, what was the one? This is a direct quote. Uh, I know your type. You're just a huge slut, so you became a rapper so you could be surrounded by dudes. You know, that, that's like a, that's a thing that someone said to me once. But um, if anything, it's just more motivation to get better at mm -hmm. it than those people that say those things, you know, right, become right. more, I guess, solid, more confident. Um, it's, a, it's a confidence boost. It's character building, really, because mm -hmm. it's like, no, you're not going to make me quit doing this because this is what I feel mm -hmm. like doing right now mm -hmm. you know does that add fuel to your lyrics and your kind of uh, rap fire it does I actually um one of my favorite songs on uh the the cat sub EP mm -hmm. which I uh I'm releasing tomorrow actually April 2nd with the red herring mm -hmm. um more on that later uh one of my favorite songs on here it's called cat calling and it's actually uh it's a song sort of just about being objectified, about being diminished, about being, uh, I guess, pigeonholed, boxed in as a woman mm -hmm. um, to this role that I'm supposed to just assume. Um, we, we, did, we just shot a music video for it, actually. I'm really excited. It's, uh, it's uh, me rapping and then a bunch of dudes shaking their butts. Um, a little twerking in there. Yeah, they're twerking. <laughs> and some of these men, I, I mean, I've, I only, honestly, I, I'm not a twerker. I twerked once at a bachelorette party. Um, I didn't enjoy it. I haven't done it since. Um, no, that's probably fun. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I don't these, uh, some of these guys were like really good at it though, and I like wonder mm -hmm. if they were at home practicing, like just Could for be. someday, like they might mm -hmm. be called upon to twerk, and so they got really good at it and perfected it and. Yeah, it's just, it's mm -hmm. funny to me how good they were. Uh, all of them, <laughs> too. Like, bravo, gentlemen. If any of you are listening, um, bravo. You're a better dancer than I. <laughs> yeah, I don't even go the twerking route. I don't understand it myself, but I am so sour cream white that uh, that explains it. I can't dance. I'm sorry. Skim milk. Skim milk. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. All right. Sour cream white. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh you're kind of following the footsteps of a couple uh well-known rappers in town you're you're adding your name to the pot uh suzy q comes to mind mm -hmm. t galexi did a rap album under the synonym action slave yes he uh, did that's pretty cool we'll hear a couple songs from that later <laughs> in the evening um what is kind of on deck for you i know you've performed with mark gartman mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the, the thing with mark gartman is fun because he does the fever dream uh, sort of sort of thing fever dream and um it's he's extended just this sort of open invitation for um any time that he's fever dreaming um i'm allowed to just show up at a show and grab mm -hmm. the microphone and uh it's called cat smash fever okay it's a it's a good little routine it's a good little bit mm -hmm. that we have worked out um it's fun. I, I like what he does. Mm -hmm. So now when you get on stage with Mark, is that all kind of improvisational or have you guys practiced beforehand? No, we've never practiced. Um, I mean, we independent of each other. We've never practiced together. Okay. Um, I, I'm sure we've practiced independent of each other is what I was going to say. But uh, mm -hmm. no, yeah, that's just showing up and uh, feeling out what he's playing okay. and just kind of like making some noises with my mouth about it. <laughs> words sentences sometimes mm -hmm. paragraphs okay you know all right sounds good so what are some of the things that you i mean do you feel out the crowd before you hit the stage or is it all here's here's what i'm feeling today here's the fuel that i've got and now you're all gonna listen 
you know, sometimes, like, if I hop up there and I feel like it's just a deer in headlights, um, then I'll uh, kind of go with something, like, a, maybe, like, a quick little, a couple of lines that are mm-hmm. already written, but then kind of just free style off of that. Okay. But um, it's fun to just sort of look around the room and comment on what's happening, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. It's, and I think that that's, like, what engages the crowd the most who have noticed is, like at shows when you start freestyling about like a person or they give okay. you a word and mm-hmm. you go off of it people just get so excited about it mm-hmm. i do too though like it's really exciting mm-hmm. to just you know come up with yeah. stuff off the top of your melon <laughs> so audience participation then mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. i love audience participation <laughs> and now tell me a little bit about uh, your EP release show. It's at the Red Herring. Oh man! Is it a uh, seventeen plus or eighteen plus? Eighteen plus. All right, eighteen plus. So they're opening the doors. Uh, it's a five dollar cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's eighteen plus. Uh, mm-hmm. Doors open at the Red Herring at nine p.m. Did I mention it's eighteen plus? Uh, hey, College Radio, eighteen plus. Um, <laughs> five dollars. Uh, there will be cat videos. There will be. Uh, a friend of mine with, uh, oh shoot, uh, Murph, Murph and Co. Yeah, Murph. Um, she will be selling cat bow ties. Um, th- those are bow ties for your cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not bow ties with cats on them. No, not bow ties with cats on them. Bow ties for your cat. Um, there will be uh, Brandy Bomber will be selling her pussy pillows, which are reusable menstrual pads with cats on them, though, which is, you know. And then, so we're going to have performances from uh, Purper Parlor, which is Paper Parlor, um, mm-hmm. Bridget's Cat Illac, or, or Bridget's Cadillac. We've got uh, Caddy P and North Star Whiskers, uh, Thaddy P and North Star Wisdom coming up from uh, the cities to perform as well. And uh, Cat Fantasy. We're closing the night out with uh, some punk, some punk rock. Cat okay. fantasy will be there. so it's a it's an evening by and for and about cats and uh, so uh, this is uh, my EP release show, um, mm-hmm. the Cat Sup EP, um, April second tomorrow, um, and oh yeah, a portion of all sales from the EP will be donated to Animal Allies to help actual cats with actual cat stuff. So tell me a little bit about this EP. You've got uh, kind of a very interesting uh, mashup, almost kind of zany feel for the uh, cover art. What what went into this album? Who did you contact? Where did you go to record it? So many people. I contacted so many people. Um, I, I, you know, I worked really hard on this, and so did a lot of other people. Um, for mm-hmm. example, this artwork I'm just in love with is by Aaron Leonard Gall. Um, he actually he just did the artwork for uh, Mark Malman's album yeah and uh it's it's just this futuristic astronaut cats like you want one of these um especially since i'm gonna be giving some of the money you spend on it to actual cats anyways the the artwork is really neat um it was um recorded and mixed by uh two separate entities we've got chris linder on half the tracks and then um We've got Joe Alaspa on the other half of the tracks down mm-hmm. at Wonder Tone Productions. Um, and then it was mastered by Joe Alaspa down at Wonder Tone Productions as well. Okay. And then, um, you know, we've got beats from Chris Linder. We've got beats from Sense, C E N T Z, mm-hmm. Sense Beats. Uh, you can find Which them is, online. Yep, we heard. Mm-hmm. Heard uh, him right at the beginning there. You were doing some rappings. Yeah, that was one of his that we opened up with. Um, Jamie Thompson made another one of the beats on here. Uh, yeah, a lot of people put a lot of work into this, and I'm really grateful for all of them having contributed to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And now, what? where did you get the funding for this? Did this come out of your own pocket? Did you do a Kickstarter? Um, did you just start rapping at shows and kind of taking tips and throwing that into the mix? I, um, I just started robbing people <laughs> no i'm just kidding okay <laughs> <laughs> um real quick i wanted to say too uh we have some features on here uh mm-hmm. killy k and aurora bear are both on here as featured uh vocalists as well okay. but um back to the funding you know i uh i 
paid for the recording uh, down at Wonder Tone Productions. I paid for the recording mm-hmm. and the beat that I got there and the um, mixing. I, I paid them out of okay. pocket. And then um, Chris Linder has a lovely studio um, in town. He's in Superior that he was nice enough to record me in um, free of charge uh, because he's a great guy and he really believes in the music. He thinks it's a, a wise investment um, mm-hmm. of time, I suppose. Okay. Um, Aaron was lovely enough to do the album artwork for free and um, let's see, Sense Beats, um, he donated the beats as well. Um, lots of beautiful people. And then in order to get it pressed, actually, you know, um, I do, uh, I'm, I'm also a promoter, I suppose, as most female hip hop artists probably have to be in order to, mm-hmm. you know, do regular shows, that sort of thing. Right. But, um, I, uh, I do shows at a monthly show at Sir Ben's called Mike Check Monday, where they, um, pay me monthly to, uh, bring hip hop to their little stage. Okay. And, um. They actually loaned me the money to get the CD printed and pressed and all that mm-hmm. um, in exchange for, you know, a portion of what they would have given me for upcoming oh, okay. events that I mm-hmm. host there. So th- a big thank you to Sir Ben's. Um, they have been incredibly supportive uh, without question, without exception. So I mm-hmm. very much appreciate their contribution. Mm-hmm. This, so wouldn't happen without, this wouldn't have happened without them. Right. So it sounds like this album is definitely a collective. Mm-hmm. Very, very collective. <laughs> all right. I'm all about community. Mm-hmm. It takes a village to raise a cat <laughs> or something. Is that the colloquial? Yes. Yeah. 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 Or to raise cat. Yeah. Cat fox. Yeah. Now, how did you come up with that name, Cat Fox? Um. Well, it's. it's I mean, my your real name is Catherine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I, well, cat. That's the first three letters of Catherine, spelled cat. So that's my real name. And then Fox is actually my. Um, Great grandmother's maiden name, mm-hmm. and I uh, I like it. It has a nice ring to it. Uh, I like it better than my actual last name. Um, so I decided to just go with it as an mm-hmm. artist name. Okay. And um, you know, maybe even in the future as a real name. Mm-hmm. I just All I right. just think it has yeah. a good ring to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Cat fox. Nice, uh, and I like it's, it. it's a real. Mm-hmm. It's an actual. It's my actual name, though. A lot of people have, like, you know, hip-hop names. They have rap names. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I get that. Um, you know. But uh, to each their own. And I guess I just prefer to have my actual name behind all of my art, in front of all of my art, okay. on all of my mm-hmm. art, you know. All right. So what is in the future for you after the your show at the Red Herring tomorrow night? What do you foresee kind of happening? Are you going to go out on tour with Mark Gartman? Are you roping in other artists for another EP? Are you making like a mixtape? What's what's on the docket? So many things are on the docket. I have so many things. I'm really excited about all of them. Uh, so tomorrow is uh, the Catterday EP release um, at the Red Herring. It's $5 and it's 18 plus. And you can give back to actual cats because everyone likes cats, right? Sorry, I blew up. I didn't mean to blow up. Um... And then so, uh, and then the following Saturday, so next Saturday, I'm at the Rex opening up for Mac Irv, and that is with a collective that I take part in called Lake Effects. Um, that okay. would be mm-hmm. me, uh, myself, Cat Fox, uh, Sea Silence of Low High Funk, um, Willie Diction, uh, and Crimson of Strictly Hammers. And so uh, Nonfic is going to be there as well. Uh, mm-hmm. We're opening up for Mac Irv on the 9th at the Rex. And then the um, 22nd of April, we will be at the Rex again, that same collective group of artists opening up for Sean Anonymous. And those are Mm -hmm. both 21 plus. So sorry, half of you college students. Um, The other half, you should probably come check that out. It's going to be dope. Um, And then I'm actually, I'm working on a few tours. I'm looking at touring the first week of May out in North and South Dakota. Mm -hmm. And then the last week in May through uh, Wisconsin, and uh, Minnesota, Southern Minnesota. All right. I'm doing a, a Twin Cities EP release party on May 26th. So the tour through Wisconsin mm-hmm. would 
start with uh, Meadow Fest Festival out at Wasco's, which you should look up. Meadow Fest, that's going to be cool. I think it's it's Carnage the Executioner and uh, Pee Wee Dread are going to be there. I'm excited to play music on the same in the same area code mm -hmm. as them. You okay. know, all right. They're kind of heroes uh, mm -hmm. to me. But um, starting there and ending on the 26th down at that uh, EP release at the Caboose. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing. <laughs> and that's, that's May. Mm -hmm. That's a really okay. rough sketch of May, but All I'm looking right. forward to it. Yeah. And now if somebody's interested in contacting you or getting a hold of your music or seeing what you've got for tour dates, do you have a website? Is it up on a Facebook page? You know, I'm a, I'm a Facebook kind of girl. I, I've mm -hmm. tried tweeting. Um, I've tried, uh, you know, Instagram. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I do Facebook though. Okay. Um, and my, you can find me on Facebook at Cat Fox, K A T F O X. That's how you spell Cat Fox. Um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, I have a SoundCloud, which is SoundCloud. And then you've got that diagonal line there, and it's uh, Yo Cats Up. Y O K A T S U P would be the website to go to. All right. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, Kat, thank you so much for stopping in and sharing your tunes with us and your thoughts and what is coming up next for you. I'm extremely excited for Saturday. Thanks for having me. Oh, of course, of course. This has been another edition of the 9 O'Clock Meltdown. I'm your host, Simply C, and we'll be right back with more tunes. I've got uh, Susie Q coming up next, Action Slave, that's Teague, Teague Alexi, and some Mark Gartman. Hang on.